Part 2, wrapped up. Powell, episode 24. Uh, what am I going to call this? Um, general ruminations. Are we going to see a whole lot more people like me and Peter and, and all the Jehu, all those people around the world, do-it-yourself do tinkerers in our garages, pulling apart laptop batteries to make power walls? There's some, some things on the horizon that I think are interesting. So I was wanting to talk about that. Um, the thing that really I find intriguing is the fact that most new laptops don't use 1850s. They use pouch cells. Um, so those things, instead of our 18650s, because these are thin and sexy, and these 18 millimeters no longer sexy. So the implications of that are that as time goes by over the next few years, fewer and fewer laptop batteries will have these for us to harvest. More and more will be using the LiPos. Uh, and the complication with the LiPos is it's very easy to make them different sizes. So uh, people do. And when you open laptop batteries, the LiPos from different models and different makes and brands, um, lots and lots of different sizes. And from what I can gather, I haven't opened a huge number of these, there isn't a standard like the 18650 standard uh, developing yet. Uh, of course, Apple are doing their own thing every time they design a new laptop. All, all the other people, all the other laptop designers seem to be following Apple's lead for sleek and slim, which means that the, the future going forward for the whole laptop power scene uh, is potentially problematic. What I had hoped is that uh, we could collectively come up with a process for making power from recycled laptop batteries that lots of people could follow. Um, people with a little bit of um, nous and sensible um, caution. But if, if 18650s from laptops uh, are history, then um, it's the, the future may not be in 18650s. Uh, so that suggests that someone who can um, work out a process for dealing with lots of different sized and capacity lipos, lipo pouch cells, um, would be a, a better um, process going forward. Uh, I've dealt with pouch cells for, um, for electric bikes and they're fine. It's the, the complicating factor for us is we want to be able to, we want to be able to put lots of batteries together and if they're all the same size that is so much easier. If they're all different sizes then um, the, the process becomes harder and it's hard enough as it is without making it mechanically um, even more complicated. Um, however, uh, Tesla keeps on churning out, um, keeps on using 18650s for the moment. Um, I did read somewhere uh, that they, their intentions for the Gigafactory is to produce um, interesting new batteries or something vague and kind of something like that. What that suggests to me is I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla move away from the 18650 um, format at some point. Uh, supposedly at the moment the 18650 is the best compromise between uh, price, power, energy density and safety. Whereas there's still lots of safety dramas uh, bulging and um, issues around these. You can, you can have problems with these as well but um, not 
And from what I, what I can tell, not as many as those. Um, but in Tesla, with the Antigua factory, they're going to be building... Um, so I think the world production of 18650s is 3 billion or, or more, and Tesla wants to double that. Um, that. It wouldn't surprise me if Tesla designs a different form factor. They might still be cylindrical, but um, there's nothing at all to stop them optimizing the form factor um, beyond the 18650, which is just what they happened to start with um, back in their very first days. They, the, the, the very first pre-Roadster um, cars that, that Elon Musk was looking at were powered by laptop batteries. Um, and he's still using them because apparently the, the value is still there. Um, I did read some research that said uh, the energy density for pouch cells per dollar is going to surpass 18650s in a couple of years. Uh, so that's why all the other, pretty much all the other car, electric car makers are betting on these, they're using pouch cells and Tesla is still sticking with these, these are a better bang for buck. Um, everyone else is going with these and not getting quite as good a range and um, reliability as the 18650s. Um, so if Tesla does churn out billions of these then there will be lots of these around, they just won't be coming out of laptop batteries, so um, they might be harder to come by from an IT recycling um, perspective. Uh, so that's going to be interesting, and I don't know how that's going to pan out. Uh, we shall see. Um, I'm curious to know what you think the, the future of the whole, the 18650 format might be. Um, because I would love to see lots and lots of people reuse all those laptop batteries that are just being thrown away and wasted. Because so many of them are great, are in good condition, even after they've been used in a laptop. Uh, it's a crime that they're not um, being used more. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, that's definitely enough rambling for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.